John, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, you met with Michel Barnier today. What, what impressions did you come away with? Well, I came away with a very, very distinct, distinct impression that Michel Barnier is going to have a tough approach to the negotiations in the second phase, that he will represent the interests of the 27 member states rather than seek a rapprochement of the 28, including the UK, uh, and that the EU have made their position very clear that the European project is far more important to the European Commission than uh, jobs in the EU uh, and trade deals. Should British business be worried then? Um, I think British business should only be concerned about reaching a conclusion in order that they can have certainty in order to plan. Provided that the UK adopt uh, the right policies and maintain the new economic freedoms that we've won at the referendum, the UK will be better off out of the European Union whether or not we have a trade deal. But it does depend on the UK government actually leveraging those freedoms rather than trying to salvage something of what we have at the moment or negotiating away those freedoms in order to achieve a trade deal. So do you have uh, confidence in the British negotiators? I have a huge sympathy for the British negotiators. It's not to do with their ability to persuade the European Union. The European Union has been consistent in its approach since the referendum. It's to do with the debate that's going on in the UK. We have a fifth column in the UK who are trying to undermine the British negotiating position, which will, of course, damage the UK economy and the British people. So what the, U what the negotiators are having to do is have a negotiation within the UK, primarily. Immaterial is the EU in that process. And actually winning that negotiation in the UK is the most crucial thing. So they have a really tough time. However, it is really important that the negotiators actually start to define their position correctly. They made a fundamental error at the beginning of the process of defining success and failure on the basis of whether we achieve a trade deal or not. In fact, success and failure of the referendum is concerned with whether we take back control of our laws, our money and our borders, and whether we are economically better off out of the EU than we would otherwise have been in the EU. And actually, having a trade deal with the EU is material to that, but not essential in any way. Provided we actually exercise those freedoms, we will be better off outside the EU.